We're also seeing some different trends arising within the Edge hardware itself. So four of these key trends are hardware as a service, COTS versus specialised hardware, storage and compute convergence, and then finally white box CPE. So in terms of hardware as a service, as a service models in general are more attractive to a lot of um, telcos and vendors because you can spread the cost in an OPEX as opposed to a CAPEX model. So it requires less of an upfront build and investment. So growth in hardware as a service is popular with customers because it means they can pay for servers in a recurring fee model. So this could be subscription based, it could be consumption based, or it could be managed IT services. In terms of COTS versus specialist hardware, so different edge use cases require different processing capabilities. So for example, if you have an edge use case that requires processing of a lot of visual data, this will need specific GPUs. And it can be hard to get economies of scale without using COTS for edge because the need to build specialized hardware for each use case means that it could get quite expensive. So this is something to consider when moving towards offering edge solutions. The next trend is around storage and compute convergence. So where use cases require edge servers to be very small. So for example, asset tracking again, where the compute needs to be on the asset itself. Um, to help in this context, converged infrastructure that can do both the storage and the compute is another trend we're seeing because this can help to reduce the amount of data that has to travel between the location where the compute is done versus the location where it's stored. So this is especially helpful for um, use cases that require ultra low latencies. The final trend we're seeing is around white box CPE. So some operators are seeing edge computing as an opportunity to change the nature of the CPE. So the industry has been changing a lot. So you no longer need to have vendor lock-in with CPE, giving the increasing disaggregation of software from the underlying infrastructure. So the next step is for the CPE to run non-networking functions and become an edge compute platform by adding an infrastructure as a service layer to run applications such as analytics for video security on top. So those are the key trends that we're seeing. If you'd like to learn more about our edge computing practice, please visit our hub or get in touch.